kind of aerobatics. So oh yeah. I got a long, I got a long way to go. I don't. I wouldn't even try that. It's, it's hard. Too, it looks, you know. <laughs> I'm too old for it. Sure. I can't. I just don't have the reflexes. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely like twitching. These guys are doing these like high alpha rolls low to the ground. I'm like, all right. Oh, they do it. Stuff. I couldn't do that. I'd yeah. bury it. That's why I get a lot of the bigger and slower stuff. Well, it, the EDF's not slow, but. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll watch it. Well, I guess we're going to be landing that way. Yeah. Well, we're going to go full. I got it on safe. Had it on safe. <laughs> Didn't want to climb. Hey, Huju here. Hope you're all doing well. Gosh, I love this airplane. One of my favorites, if not my favorite. This is the Dynam Waco, 1270 millimeters. It's by far the easiest flying plane in my entire collection. Now that doesn't mean it's a simple airplane to assemble and just go, no. It's an earlier model. It's an older airplane. I've had it for several years. So, you know, when it comes to older models, there's some assembly required. So in this case, a lot of screws for the struts, a lot of sorting out of control rods, a lot of reshaping the warp foam that came with some of the flight control surfaces. That sort of thing you have to deal with on earlier airplanes. But once you work out all the bugs and you get it dialed in, it flies like a dream. It goes wherever you want it to go. It does whatever you ask it to do, kind of point and fly. And it's got a great presence. It doesn't matter whether you have the red version or the yellow version. The color makes it stand out in the sky. This is a scale flyer, so this is not a 3D airplane by any means. It's not going to hover, it's not going to hang on the prop, and it's not going to spin and roll like some sort of a top. In fact, it's large enough to where it feels a little bit heavy in all of the aerobatics. It doesn't have a very fast roll rate. It rolls pretty slow, but it will get up there and it will get it done. And it's also the easiest landing plane that I have by far. It just lightly settles down on its main wheels and I can do touch and goes with this all day long greasing it barely touching the wheels it really makes me feel like I'm cheating when I'm flying this thing because it makes me look like a much better pilot than I really am Actually, I'm not one minute over. I did forget to set the timer before I took off or reset it. But I do put one of those $3 low voltage sensors in there and I plug it into the balance port and it will allow, it will let me know when it gets down to a Yeah, I guess I'll try to shoot an approach. See how it works.
should say that this has a stabilizer in it. It's got a seven channel lemon stab plus receiver. Which was the reason for that funky takeoff because when I checked the safe function, I forgot to turn it off when I took off and it didn't want to climb out. <laughs> 